This summer solstice brings the launch of Synchronicity University. So excited about finally presenting you guys with a free online, fully accessible data bank of astrology classes. You can watch lessons right now at synchronicityuniversity.com and of course my YouTube channel, nadiashaw.com. Hello Fabulous Aries, welcome to your horoscope for the month of July 2015, Love Focus. I am your astrologer Nadia Shaw, thank you for being here. Well, this month in love, it is all about Venus. It's all about Venus for all of us, but especially in love and especially where it comes to you. The month begins right out of the gate with a full moon as I spoke about in the general focused horoscope, happening at the same time that Venus meets Jupiter in the sky, amplifying her power. And in the last week of the month, Venus will begin going retro. Venus will go retro in the same part of the sky that Jupiter is now in. Now you've got this support, you have had this support for a year now of Jupiter moving through part of the sky that has to do with love and romance, being swept away, getting caught up in the emotions and the butterflies and in the feelings of romance. A lot of Aries out there have met people very quickly said, this is it, this is it, I'm totally head over heels. Now, depending on what else is happening in your chart, it may very well have been it or not. Um, but one thing is for sure though, the universe is trying its darndest to shower your life with blessings in the love department. And now here comes Venus to make it that much more obvious. Now, I do think that if you are in an established bond, this is going to be a time when, on the one hand, especially as the month begins, really, I think you're gonna be feeling like this is it. I found the one, life is bliss. So you'll be feeling really good, feeling lots of support and just feeling very, very grateful. That's always a good thing. Um, lots of fertility energy, very powerful right about now. Um, and so if you want to have a child, uh, this is it, this is it. <laughs> I mean, there's always chances to do that, always opportunities indicated in the chart, but this is a very strong month when you'll be feeling, if you're ever gonna feel it, if you are so inclined, uh, this is the time that you're going to be feeling it. And this is the time also when there's lots of cosmic support to make that happen for yourself as well. I think a lot of areas out there might actually surprise themselves uh, by finding out just for themselves the way that people do that, yep, you're actually fertile. You have been for a while. Um, those of you who are open to meeting somebody new, there is um, just so much support to have fun. And that really is where the key is going to lie, is to enjoy yourself. And of course, if you're dating somebody, lots going on on that front, lots of love growing there as well. But here's the thing, right? Because there's always a thing. Venus is going to begin to go retrograde this month. Now, when Venus actually retrogrades, she is... Um, considered to be at her most potent energy. She is at her most passionate and she is closest to the earth. Her energy, her magnitude, her blessings are being that much more magnified symbolically right around the time that she changes direction, right around the time that she is about to go retrograde. So this could certainly be a time when I think a lot of Aries out there might find themselves making love-based decisions um, that may need more fullness of time to totally flesh out. Uh, but having said that, you know, it's, it's really, the, the energy is just so strong to get so caught up. And if you're enjoying yourself, then, then there will be no regrets, right? So essentially, as I look at this, I think uh, if you're open to meeting somebody new, this is one of the best months that you're gonna have to actually connect with somebody. Um, and it would feel very swept up very quickly. Um, also, as I said, if you're dating somebody, then this is when things could progress very quickly as well. Now this is a Venus retrograde, so all is not as it appears. If you meet somebody new right about now, um, it, might, it might end up being something different than you anticipate, okay? Now that doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing, but just be aware of that. Um, and enjoy yourself. 
That's really what this comes down to. Uh, I really think as I look at this guy that you, your sign and the sign of Aquarius, these two signs, no matter how long you have been single or felt like the universe has forgotten you, this is really a time when um, you will believe in love again. I do think that Aries will come to believe in love again with just a little bit of willingness, which I think actually is going to be there in abundance. You are going to find that the universe is going to try to rush in to show you that actually you have options in love, that you're more loved than you realized, and that actually, yes, love can be something that is joyous and that reminds you of the joy that love and life can be.